and just to warm up the legs. Okay. I don't. This seems weird today. No. All right. Give the timer. Yes, ma'am. I sure do. All right, we're going in ten. I just gonna get some music going. So we're gonna do start with butt kickers. We did this workout at the beginning of April, so it might look a little familiar to some of you. Let's go. Kick the booty. Warm up the quads. I just forgot to put my hair up. Rest. Spider lunge is next. So just do a lunge, kind of get down as low as you can and stretch out all of every part of your leg. Good. Maybe a little bit. Maybe too loud. Just alternate between. I like to stretch them out. It always feels good. Rest. Back to butt kickers. Go. There you go. Rest. Spider lunges. Go. Rest. Two more reach. Go. There should be some up there on top of the toes. Press, spider lunges. I'm here now. I have arrived. You guys miss me? Rest. Back to back kickers in three, two, one. Okay, <laughs> cool. Did it turn out the same one? It might be a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, and rest. Go back to lunge spider lunges. Go. Last one. And rest. All right, we have four blocks today. We're going to do lunges, weighted lunges. So we're going to go forward lunges today, followed by good mornings, jump lunge. 30 seconds of everything, and then, we'll, then you guys will get a 30 second rest after we complete the jump lunges. So everybody knows good mornings, right? You're just going to go slight bend in the knee until you feel the pull in your hamstring and then back up. Flat back, okay? You could add weight to it. All right. 
starting with weighted lunges. You can see it all in so lower lunges today, so make sure you guys push up with that, that front foot, okay? All right, go to 10. 30 seconds of the three exercises and then a 30 second rest after your jump lunge. So. Stick into that lunge. 10 seconds. Good morning. Put your weight behind your head. So it's very similar to a deadlift, because we're doing a lot of those today. You guys should feel that nice stretch in those hamstrings. Jumping wedge. Just walk it out and or do reverse lunges if you have to. Or squat it out. So Katie right here, you would do your just some squats. Five seconds, four, three, two, and rest. Two Ooh. more times. So Katie, you can insert the forward lunges. So I know your knees are bad. You can just pulse it, okay? So take out your lunges today. I should just do a full line or full off squat for those that knees hurt. You do a goblet squat. All right, we're going to three, two, one, forward lunge. Ten seconds. Three, two, and to your good morning. You guys don't have to just wait till the end. You just put your hands behind your head and do them. Jump lunge. So Katie, you go squat your toes here. Keep going. Drop one. I just like have a corner of my eyes. I can't get my nose. Five, three, two, and rest. Oh, <laughs> One more time on that. Those jumping lunges kill me. Thanks for the modifications, Anna. Oh, you're welcome. I got you today, girl. All right, we're going to our last round. Those forward lunges. Get nice and deep in those lunges. And then push off with those heels. It's a lot of booty stuff today. Good morning.
See, Alicia is giving me a hard time last week about colors. I like black. I'm on black today. Jump lunge. I like it all. <laughs> Ten seconds. And rest. 30 second rest here. We're going to Romanian deadlift first. Nice flat back. Shoulder width apart and pull up. Then we're going to a reverse lunge. And then a sumo squat pulse. Okay. Katie, for your reverse lunge, I just want you to double pulse it at the bottom. Okay. Woo! All right, girlfriends. Deadlifts. Three, two, pull the shoulder blades back. Push your booty out. Going, five seconds. Straight into a reverse lunge. So now we're working a little bit more glute. Quasi secondary muscle versus our bar lunges with virtual bar quad. And then their booty second. But lunges are a great overall leg exercise. They work everything. Two more squat pulse. Remember, knees go back here. Tuck that booty in. Keep that chest up. To feel those inner thighs. Ten seconds. Four, three, two. Rest. Job, shake it out for a minute. We're doing ads at the very end today. All right, we're going back to that deadlift. Give it two seconds. So make sure you guys pull those, like, kind of like stick out your chest, pull those shoulder blades back. We don't want them hunched over like that. We want them back. Go. Got ten seconds. Looking good, ladies. Reverse lunge. Good job, girl. Six, five, four, three. Two, and to your pulses. Get those toys, toys, <laughs> toes pointed outward. Good. Good job, girls. Keep going for 10. Gotta keep pulsing. Four, three. Two, rest. Oh, burning. Yes. The pots. One more round of that. 
And then we have all the deadlifts in the next round, it looks like. All right, go back to that Romanian deadlift. All right, we're going in three, two, go. Deadlifts are so good for your hamstrings. Lower back. Booty. That's good for building up that strength in the lower back. Reverse lunge. Ten seconds. Four, three, two. Two more pulse. The jury guys have sumos are a little wide, wider than shoulder at the park. Good job, 10 seconds. If the pulses hurt your knees, just hold it. And rest. Block number three. We're going to single leg deadlift. We're here. If you can, you can take that leg up at the back. If you cannot do that, I'll go this way. Now kick stand it here and then deadlift that way. Okay? We're going to right side, left side. And then we're going to go with speed sumo deadlift. So wide. And then you can just check. But we're going fast. Okay? Lots of deadlifts this round. Just do what you can. Let's go. You can't hold your balance this way. Just keep them, keep that back foot on the ground. Kickstand it. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. Good. <laughs> Sumo speed. Push that booty back. Twelve seconds. Rest. Good job. Go back to a single leg deadlift. Going in five. Go. Good job, we're switching in five. Switch.
Ten seconds, girls. All right, sumos. Most like weight in those knees. Wider than shoulders with the part. Good job, 10 seconds. Rest. All right, we're going to the floor. We're going to bridges. If you guys want to use weight, you can put those on your hips. So do single legs. You can either hold this leg up and then push up or cross it over and push up. You guys want to try and get up as high as you can? We don't want the hat, little half grip, so it's not going to do anything. As high as you can go, so you feel that burn in those hamstrings. So you're going to do single leg, single leg, and then we're just going to pulse it. Okay? Let's go. As high as you can. Here. Come in. Now you are. Can't you see me? I blended with the floor. <laughs> Five, four, three, switch legs. Really should be feeling this one. Especially in those hamstrings. Go as slow as you can, as slow as you can, as you need to. Okay, so you want your heels about fingertip length away from your booties and squeeze. So don't go all the way to the bottom. To be on fire. 10 seconds. Three, two, and rest. Shake it up for a minute. If you need a stretch, you guys can pull those knees up. Could be feeling it all back here from like your hamstrings down to your glutes. So when you guys are on those double legs on the ground, you want your heels about fingertip length away from your butt. If you go too far, then you won't get it good. And if you go too close, 
You won't work it as properly. <laughs> we just put one in three. <laughs> Go, single leg. So drive with those heels. Switch sides. Got it. Like I said, if you work a little bit harder, you can just put those weights on your hips. Squeeze your booty at the top. Ten seconds. Three, two, and rest. Should be oh, so, should be bourbon. Last round. By the time you guys get this double leg, it should be on fire. Huh? All right, just hang out. Ten seconds. Check it out for a minute if you got stuff. All right, we're going back to that single leg. So push straight up with that leg if you have your leg up. Good job, girls. And switch. Those hips up as high as you can. Bow. Be burning. That's a good. All right. We're going staying on the floor. We have flutter. We're going to do Tabata. So we have your flutter kicks. Are those the hand ones? No, the rubber and the Oh. oh. And then um, if you have a dumbbell, we'll use that for this next round. So you guys got your flutter kicks. So you can either lay on the ground all the way, or you can prop yourself up with your elbows and do it, that's fine. And then we're gonna go to our dumbbell up and overs. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can just do these in, in and out, so that's fine. Okay? You'll feel the dumbbell one a little bit in those quads too, because they're tired right now. I try to focus on the abs. No one is big. So we're gonna start with flutters. Go. You can elbow it or go all the way to the ground. Either one is fine. We're just doing Tabata, so 20 seconds in each. Two, rest. 10 second rest. Three, two, one, go.
Ten seconds. I always put these in my day. <laughs> Two and rest. Going back to flutter kicks. Go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, my squats are burning. <laughs> You guys will feel a little bit in the squats. All right, up and hoppers. Just a quick tap on the ground. Try not to rest too long. Rest. Go back to flutter kicks. Halfway, two more each. Rust. <laughs> Got it, girlfriends. We are on fire. Let's go. Two, go. Literally, my legs are rubbing together on those <laughs> flutter kicks. About to start fire. Take that life. <laughs> 